Hey, what's up, guys? Tech from RB here, back with another first impressions video. Wow, it's been a while, hasn't it? As you can see, I'm looking over here at my Tech from Media YouTube page. By the way, you should definitely go subscribe to that if you haven't already. Today, I'm going to be doing some of my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is one of the devices that doesn't make a big change, but it does bring some new features that new uses to the Samsung lineup for TouchWiz and also Android users would probably like. So let's get started. Here's some of my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S5. <laughs> So welcome back to another impressions video. I'm just going to be basically going over some of my first impressions. If you want to get my more in-depth impressions, and if I think that Samsung Galaxy S5 is worth the price it's for that it's supposed to be launching with, please go check out Android because it's going to be uploaded this Wednesday afternoon at around 5 p.m. So I'm going to be commentating on two things, the UI and the overall new design. So I'll include maybe a couple specs, but not the full list of specs. So the UI brings a new TouchWiz 5 UI, which basically means that they have changed some stuff around on how they style TouchWiz with its hair gel and all the types of things that make that sandwich that makes the user interface of Samsung TouchWiz. So they kind of changed a couple of things in there, not big things, but they changed how some of the icons look, they changed how some of the things in the dial look, they changed some things, but not the things that mostly change the UI overall. It gives it a better look, it just doesn't give it a better reputation. It's about the same as it's always been. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Honestly, in my opinion, the UI is pretty fluid. I use a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 right now, and Touch was on it has been great. I did test the new... Samsung TouchWiz interface, and it's not that bad actually. It's pretty good to run on the Samsung Galaxy S5. It'll bring a new experience. It looks very nice, and I would recommend it to anybody out there who loves user interfaces and doesn't love stock Android. If you do love stock Android, go with that Nexus, but the Samsung Galaxy S5 brings a good experience whenever it comes down to user interface. And my second and final impression will be on the new design, basically talking about just some of the key features that they upped in this new device. So now this thing comes with a 5.1 inch Super AMOLED HD display with the same 1920 by 1080 resolution. Now I think they could have bumped it up just a little bit, maybe 5.2, maybe 5.3, but I mean it doesn't take away from the device. It is a kind of disappointment, but I don't think that that would majorly make somebody not want to buy this device. It's pretty good overall. It brings this new screen. I just don't think that it was a big upgrade, if you know what I'm saying. The Samsung Galaxy S5 comes with a 5.1 inch display, but the Samsung Galaxy S4 comes with a 5 inch display, which makes no real difference if you're trying to buy this for screen size. Now, if you're buying this for its camera capability, of course, go ahead for it. It has a 16 megapixel sensor that can shoot right now 1080p video, but no 4K yet. Anyways, guys, these have been my first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy S5. If you enjoyed, please thumbs up. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please do. We almost had 100 subscribers. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weekly tech videos. I'm Tech Promise RB from Tech Promise